the right is working overtime to pretend that the Roe v. Wade decision was meaningless. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, it is fascinating how they know how unpopular their agenda is relative to the American public. And that's why they are smart enough to here is, you know, here's the steak we're delivering, but we're also working on the plates, essentially, right. right? Like we're also making sure that we're able to plate this meal for you. And that's what the case that they're picking up now, where they're basically just working on this minoritarian rule and they're going to need it because, um, uh, and we'll, we'll talk about the sort of the democratic response in a moment, but this is an interesting, it, it's fascinating to see them run away from their long held desire. Absolutely. I mean, I was really stunned by that. And I did write a piece about it because I couldn't believe I went to and watched Fox News that, you know, I do this for you people, you know, just so that you, <laughs> just to, to let you know what's going on over there. And it's it's not easy. Let me tell you, I have to drink heavily after I do this. <laughs> um, and uh, it it was astonishing to me because you I would have expected they would do backflips that this that this is their greatest achievement this was their holy grail and they were not doing backflips they were saying uh, it's relax ladies it's okay you're going to be able to get your abortions you'll be able to get them don't worry you just you know if this is a state thing and and nothing terrible is going to happen to you everything's going to be fine and i was really surprised that they took that tech but the thing that 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 really did it for me was real was when i read about donald trump being extremely upset about i shouldn't say extremely upset worried about it because he thinks that you know he knows he's got a problem with women and he's looking at 2024 and saying you know wow this is really going to hurt me it took them uh, two days to persuade him to go out and take a victory lap now which he did and came out look it's the greatest decision in the history of mankind but it took him a couple of days to do that, which with Donald Trump, right? I mean, taking he takes victory laps over the sun coming up in the morning. The fact that he that it took him any time at all to go do that was very telling, and it, and it ended up. And I think he's right. I mean, to the extent he has political instincts, he pro, he has his political instincts are toward his own self preservation, and and I think that he understood very clearly that this is the kind of thing that could shift the dynamic that everybody thought was there, and I and I actually think it has. In fact, there's a poll that came out this morning, I think it's the AP poll, that shows um, not just abortion, not just Roe and the and the reversal of Roe, but women's rights in general, suddenly taking on huge new salience, particularly among women, but also among men that suddenly people are waking up and going, wow, this stuff is really in the crosshairs now. And I think there's absolutely no doubt that gay rights, LGBT rights are also on the agenda. This is definitely happening. There was a debate, I think it was last night in Michigan, uh, one of the governor's races, where they asked people, should they reverse, you know, Obergefell and, um, you know, uh, oh, and, and Lawrence? Lawrence! And they're all going, yeah, we need to revisit those. I mean, those governor governor candidates, Republican governor candidates are all saying, yeah, we need to do it. So this is definitely on the menu. And, you know, again, it will be another thing that they'll do exactly like we just discussed with Roe. The court will take it up. They'll do whatever. These are going to work their way through the courts over the next couple of years. And then the rest of them will go, oh, don't worry, gay people. Don't worry. You know, don't worry, LGBT kids it'll be fine because they're going to try and paper it over around elections. But make no mistake, anybody, that this is not real and that they're not actually doing this. And I wouldn't have bet on it, to be honest with you. That they, I mean, I, I, I was afraid of it. I, was, I knew that it was a possibility. But I wouldn't have bet that they would go here. But now I'm totally convinced that they will. After watching what they did this term, these, these decisions that came down in the last couple of weeks, absolutely convince me that they're going to go for it. They're going to do whatever it takes and there's no stopping them. There, there is no, uh, to use the court's term, uh, limiting principle on, right. uh, on, on what they're going to do. I mean, they've, the, the one limiting principle was that there have been jurists in the past. And I think Roberts is like this where they're acutely aware of the role they play in society and they want to basically, you know, uh, slowly boil the frog. The, the, the five, that are controlling the court now 
they're this is this is microwave type of stuff uh, yeah. that they're working on. And we should say here is and, and what's what's also but just get to back to the point of and you cited that poll where there has been a, a, um, a real increase in the importance of abortion rights and women's rights uh, in the minds of voters in terms of the polling that's just come out in the wake of uh, the row reversal. I want to put up this tweet. It is um, it is from a uh, I believe they're they're a uh, a New York State OBGYN uh, retweeting a um, a colleague in Missouri who I believe is a lawyer for a hospital. Put this tweet up. This is number six. And uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, Heather, but it um, it says that um, essentially I don't have it uh, put it up here. It is um, uh, OBGYN colleague in Missouri, quote, we are now observing patients with ectopic pregnancy and hemo uh, uh, until they have a uh, documented failing hemoglobin or unstable vital signs. In other words, where when and there are 43,000 ectopic pregnancies, more or less a year. And this is where, you know, one of those things um, that puts a woman's uh, or I should say a person who's who's pregnant uh, life in danger. Um, And instead of performing an abortion on these people in that moment, they are waiting until they are like well on to dying before they intervene, which is going to mean. And, and this is something we've been talking about the past week because, you know, this is the lawyer of the hospital now because they're advising their doctors. We need to go in. And it needs to be a slam dunk that a person is yep. dying, that their life is in danger. And how do you get there? Right. Like is, you know, I mean, this is the way you think about it is like, is a kid, a five year old's life in danger when they're 20 feet? from a cliff that has no fence are they in danger and and there's nobody within 20 feet of them is their life in danger is their life in danger when they're 10 feet from that cliff is their life in danger when they're two feet from that cliff is their life in danger only when they're falling uh off that cliff and the person who we're relying on to save that uh that 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 in this scenario could be facing 10 years in jail could be facing loss of license. So if that kid's 20 feet from the cliff, well, I don't know. If they're 10 feet, I'm not sure which way are they facing. If they're five feet, I don't know how a court is going to decide that that, that, that person's life is in danger. And we now are starting to see evidence of it. And what we're gonna see over the next, probably three or four weeks, if we haven't already, is women dying. As, as people who are pregnant dying, because of these bans that are, you know, I don't think all 13 are in place from the trigger. I think a couple got held up, but we're going to start seeing this and we're going to see people um, who, I mean, I, I and, and I don't know if it's, a, it, I'm not going to report anything that's like, you know, maybe apocryphal on Facebook, but you can start to see indications of, of scenarios like this. Um, and it, it, it seems to me that, Reporting is going to do part of the work to make people understand just exactly what's going on here, because it's it's still, you know, I think people don't really know. But the other thing that is key is that Democratic leadership has to be out there and acting as if and we have talked about this so many times, Heather, where it's like, you know, we talked to both of us were in the film business. It's the reaction shot. You need to show we were talking about this in the, in the context of of impeachment. You need to show if something is horrible, we need to see it on your face. We need to see it on the faces of everybody around it. And when the Democratic leadership supports somebody who is anti-abortion in Texas or when um, Joe Biden makes a deal with Mitch McConnell and, and the deal may in and of itself be a good deal. I don't know. Makes a deal to put an anti-abortion judge on the federal bench. We're not seeing it on their faces. When, uh, you know, Clyburn comes out and says, well, you know, eh, you know, we've been expecting this. We're not seeing it on their faces. 